welcome back to a new video i really like this set of nails i wasn't sure if this was going to work but i think it did so i've got my flexi hand and i'm going to be using nao nails acrylic so i've got warm beige i have got crystal clear i've also got cosmopolitan which i'm really liking for autumn it's like a two it's really really nice i'll see if i can show you later on at the end that you kind of get a colour shift. And the next one is Fiji Waves. I really like this. On the website, it looked greener than it actually... It's more blue, I think, in real life. It's really nice, though. And I kind of thought I'm going to throw them together and just go mad. Because everyone needs to be a little bit mad, don't they? Um, the glitter I'm using is, of course, from Nail Sugar. This one is... Oh, I love this one so much. I haven't used this one for a long time. It's called Temptress. But I think this is a great one for autumn. Really like it. And I've also got some of these mini maple leaves. I really, really like these. I love these. Every autumn, I just think these are adorable. They catch the light so nicely. So we're going to be using all of those things that I've just shown you. So to begin with, we're going to create a reverse... No, we're going to create a nail bed using the reverse smile line method. That's what we're doing. And I always put my first bead on and then I just shape it out. Don't worry if it doesn't go exactly how you planned because um, I do mine and then I file around the smile line so that it just neatens it up. So if it's not quite 100%, you know it's not the end of the world but do try and make it as neat as possible before you file it if you see what i mean and then it just it just saves you time and work then i'm going to place another bead on which is my cuticle bead and i did i didn't show it but i did actually put another bead on just so that i had enough height to create my apex because i was worried that it wasn't going to be high enough but i didn't i didn't show i didn't show that bit it's quite high already isn't it i don't know anyway i just thought i'd do it because or did i no i didn't i didn't um but it i put the ex, you can see the extra bead on there actually you can't because it just looks the same <laughs> anyway on to the pinky i'm using that cosmopolitan acrylic and i'm going to cover the whole pinky in this so you want to make sure that you don't have any gaps or that the colour looks wishy-washy. You want to make sure it's all covered. And then I'm going to, I'm just separating the maple leaves with my hands because, with my fingers, because sometimes they get, you get like one or two stuck together. So all I'm going to do is cover this little finger nail, little finger nail, the pinky nail in the maple leaves because I, I just adore these. There we go. And then when I'm happy, I'm just going to, I'll leave them and then I will um, cap them later. Aren't they nice though? They're not even capped yet and they look gorgeous. So the, the ring finger, I was, I was going to say the pinky, I was like, no, I've just done that one. Um, I'm putting that cosmopolitan glitter at the cuticle area and just blending it down to make sure that it's nice and neat. The cuticle area is nice and neat. And then I am taking wet beads of each colour that I have. So actually there's only three colours. So I'm using the Cosmopolitan, the Fiji Waves and that I'm using Warm Beige as well. And we're just going to create a marbled nail. So again, you can put different, like when I do it, like the first time I think I put the blue on, then I put the brownie colour on and then I put the... I don't know, but then, but I just, basically, you just put different, different coloured beads on each time in a different order. Does that make sense? I think that makes sense. And then use the tip of your brush to work the acrylic together to sort of marble it together. Don't overwork it because you don't want to end up with a splodge, especially colours like this. They'd probably look really ugly if you mush them together. <laughs> and then I'm going to take some of the temptress glitter. And I'm just putting this randomly-ish. It's not randomly, actually. Kind of doing it, kind of putting the glitter on the way that the marble goes. There we go. So that's that one. Um, I have capped those two now. And what I'm going to do is file around the smile line of my middle finger. 
because I want it to be nice and neat but that finger got in the way so I ended up just pulling that one off and then filing it so I didn't show me doing the rest of that for this one I'm taking the Fiji Waves acrylic and I am putting it around the smile line area making sure it's nice and neat There we go. Oops, made a little bit of a mess there. Whoops, don't get it on your client's skin. Fortunately, mine is very resilient, stuff like that. <laughs> because she's made of silicon. And then I'm putting a little bit of Cosmopolitan on the end and just blending it up. And then I will take some of that Empress glitter and I'm going to put it on in like a a bit of a swoosh starting down one side and going down the other and then I'm going to add a maple leaf at the bottom because I do like these I like these a lot and I'm sure I will use them again at some point because they are just perfect aren't they perfect for autumn which is why I'm using them there we go um, so this finger is gonna be all Fiji waves so it's gonna be all blue so I'm just working that colour down. I absolutely love this colour. I like it a lot. So I'm just going to put my cuticle bead on. I'm not going to... I think this might be a strength powder. Um, but I'm not sure. So I'm just going to put... I do end up um, putting some clear over it. Because I don't want to compromise the strength of the nail <laughs> and then at the top I'm just gonna put two more of the little um, maple leaves like that just gonna put them like that and on the thumb again I'm just keeping this quite simple I'm gonna put the cosmopolitan glitter not glitter cosmopolitan acrylic this is going to be a whole nail of this. Oh, this, this honestly, this colour is really, really nice. It's got like a, um, it's got like a shift to it. So in some lights it looks like a pinky, um, and other lights it looks more brown. I'm going to try and show you at the end, and then I'm going to put the um, temperous temp temperous glitter on. I was going to say temperous, that's, like, that's not a word. Temperous glitter is going on in a swoosh. And then I'm going to cap it when I'm finished. In fact, I want to cap the rest of the other ones that I haven't done. And then I will go ahead and file and buff them. And this is what they look like filed and buffed. I'm using my, today I'm using the Premier Gel High Shine Top Coat. Oh, it's top coat time. I didn't say that. It's top coat time. Look at these maples when they're done. Aren't they beautiful? Oh my goodness, I love them. And then I also like this one too. I really, really like this whole set actually. Um, I really, really like it. Let me know if you like the colours together or not. And the middle one. Hopefully no one will dislike it. Because initially I was like, are these going to work? Are they going to work? trying to get my dog lead my dog's lead on while we oh I'll do this voice over there we go and then look check out this color isn't this color really nice the fiji waves i really really like this color from nao there we go i love the maple leaves and then we are going to move on to the thumb now after i have capped um after i've top coated it i am gonna try and show you i'm going to see i don't know if you can see it can you see hang on let me just what am i doing right let's just finish finish top coating and then i'm going to wiggle it i don't know if you can see like it goes like a brown to a kind of pink i don't know uh, i don't know if you can see it very well i don't know if it shows up very well but never mind it does it's really nice so i'm going to pop these in the lamp and this is them cured i'm going to give you a quick close-up I just can't get over that pinky now. I absolutely love that pinky now with all those leaves in it. 
this is the finished set i hope you liked them if you did please leave me a like if you haven't already do consider subscribing or you'll end up with a grazed knee because you might fall over yeah so there we go um you can get 10 percent off now sugar glitters as well using code natmug10 but all the information will be in the description box below thanks for watching and i will see you beautiful lot tomorrow bye